Hey guys, I'm very excited to tell you that another Jane Doe has been identified. The so-called Oreo Grand Jane Doe who was found dead on October 5th, 1980 in the Nevada desert has now been identified as Tammy Corrine Terrell from Roswell, New Mexico. We know very little about her right now and the only thing that we know about her is that she was last seen on September 28, 1980, which is Sunday at the Roswell State Fair in Roswell, New Mexico. Now later that night she was seen in the company of a man and a woman at a restaurant in Roswell. It is believed that they were heading to an unknown destination in California and she was a victim of sex trafficking. That is all the information being given about Tammy Corentrell's life in the media as of now. Her case is one of the most discussed topic in the missing and unidentified people true crime group. As part of this group, we all have been following her case for years and know most details about the Oreo Grand Jane Doe and how her beaten body was found near Oreo Grand Road in Henderson, Nevada. And now that she has, we know of her true name, I think people out there, including myself, want to know more details of her short life. So that way we can put the pieces together to ultimately solve her brutal murder. So I did some poking around in the internet to find more information about Tammy Terrell. And to my surprise, I came up with some details about Tammy that were readily available online that has not been put out yet in an, any news outlet. These are important facts that need to be known, so I want to discuss them with you. Tammy Corrine Terrell was born on July 5, 1962. And this is based on information I got from Find a Grave. On most articles on Tammy states her birth year to be 1963. And I don't know which year is accurate, but for now let's say it's 1962, which would make her 18 years old on the time of her death. On Find a Grave, her birth mother is Jacqueline Deanne Jackie Terrell Moore, who died at age 57 on June 2001. However, I could not find any information on her birth father, but she did have four siblings, of which two are already dead. Tammy's younger brother, John Carl Terrell, died at a young age of one and a half years in 1966. Her oldest sister, Nancy, died at age 43 in 2003. She has two living sisters, but their names and information are currently hidden online. Tammy's birthplace is not noted in Fine a Grave, but she might have been born in Artesia, New Mexico, which is 40 miles south of Roswell. And I base this info on the birthplace of her two dead siblings, both born in Artesia between 1960 and 1964 respectively. And I've also located the home where they might have lived in Artesia, and here it is. The address was listed on Tammy's infant brother's death certificate, which is available in Find a Grave. We know that she lived in Roswell, New Mexico, but I could not find the day to when her family moved there. And also, I tried getting a different photograph of her in school yearbooks and newspapers, articles, but to no avail. Currently, it's not noted to the public who dropped Tammy off to the Roswell State Fair on September 28, 1980. It is safe to assume that it could be either a friend or a relative. A possible scenario is that she could have been working at the State Fair and met some people that convinced her to go with them in a promise of making a lot of money in California. She was reported to be seen at a restaurant near the State Fair with the company of a white man and woman at around 10 p.m. The witnesses and the location of the said restaurant is not yet available to the public, but I'm sure the police know more details, but they are keeping quiet about it for now. 
Now to summarize, she was last seen alive on Sunday, September 28, 1980 in Roswell, New Mexico and found dead on Sunday, November 5, 1980 in Henderson, Nevada. That is exactly seven days. She probably was murdered on a Saturday, November 4th at an unknown location. I am assuming she was tortured and murdered in a motel somewhere in Arizona, Nevada, or California. The distance between Roswell, New Mexico and Henderson, Nevada is about 800 miles and takes 12 hours non-stop driving. The main highway is Interstate 40 and Tammy along with her assumed kidnappers might have stopped in major cities along I-40 like Albuquerque, New Mexico or Flagstaff, Arizona. And it is possible they could have made it all the way to California and they killed her there. Now, this is just speculation, but I'm betting Tammy Corrent Terrell came from a poor family and there were no opportunities for her in Roswell. And the people she met at the fair had connections in California for high paying jobs. Her abductors might have told her of a high paying modeling career in California and it's put her at ease and she voluntarily went with them. I don't think she knew that they were grooming her to be a prostitute when she agreed to go. She trusted these monsters who end up torturing and killing her when she rejected them to becoming a prostitute. I'm also guessing the letter S tattooed on her arm is a form of branding practiced by some pimps to mean slave. We badly need to catch these monsters. Well, that's all I have for now. Please feel free to write in the comments below of any possible theories you may have on what happened to poor Tammy Terrell. And of course, if, hey, if you have any information the police can use, or if you've seen Tammy alive between September 28th to October 4th, 1980, please call the Henderson Police Department at 702-267-5000. And also thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.